Hi, my name is Stephanie Tercios. I have been coming to Emmanuel since 2013, um, and it's been a great experience here. And it's been great to see how my life has changed since I encountered Jesus. Um, even when I look at the lives of these high schoolers and I look at where I used to be when I was their age, um, it just really brings me back to His saving grace and how He really has made an impact in my life. Um, I'm no longer the person that I used to be that was self-absorbed and only um, thought about me. Um, I am now able to forgive others because of His grace. I am able to love others because of his love and I'm able to also be graceful upon myself because of the grace he's bestowed on me. My name is Roy Menendez and this is how real Jesus is in my life. At 33 years old, I had been on drugs for 22 years, 14 years on cocaine, five years on meth. I was 33 year old, years old now divorced, lost my fam my wife and my kids, and one day I got up and turned on the TV, and I sat down on my couch, and I, a man came on and said, if you want your life to change, pray this prayer, and that's all he said, and then I heard something, someone say, are you ready, Roy, and I got on my knees on the floor in my house, and I asked the Lord to to come into my life. I ask him to forgive me for my sins and I confess that I believe Jesus was the Son of God. And then when I got up, it was amazing because I just was the happiest person in the world. I went down the depressed and angry and I got up completely, completely different person. And fast forward to this day, 24 years later, I'm still walking with God and I'm still the happiest man in town. I'm Doug Van Gessel, born and raised in the Emmanuel Church. God used me in many different ways, certainly a wonderful life, but not without its difficulties. I was going to be a pastor. I was going to be a pastor. But when I saw what was happening to the pastors and how others were making money, I thought I'd be a dentist. Up to USC. Ah, enrolled. Dad says you can't live there, it's too expensive. Well, I wanted to be on campus. So I went back and said, where can I go for one year? Hope College. Dad said, that's fine, only $350, room, board, and semester. Wow, that is good. God had a plan. I was there, Religious Emphasis Week, a boring speaker. But one day, the last day, I heard him say, I am here for one person who's not going God's way. That hit me right between the eyes. And God said, Doug, you must be a pastor. Changed my life. And God was right. Touching the lives of people in Chicago, in Michigan, the lonely, the hurting, the wrecked lives, and seeing the beauty and wonder of God's miracle of resurrection in the lives of people. I'm not sorry. Oh, I had my plan. But God had a plan. He overrode mine, and God is still using me. It's my story. It begins with a death, the death of my Savior, and it gives me a life, a life that is shared with all those with whom I come into contact. That's my story.